Future Shapes, an intriguing family of experimental, unique riding snowboards designed to bring new sensations to riding in deep snow. Futuristic geometries, wacky tips and tails make these backcountry shreds surfy and playful beyond your wildest dreams. So what's different with these shapes? The entire family has a different approach to the board specs matching the rider's bio specs. It's not a conventional product line where you find one board in three lengths and widths. It's a line where you find several different models in one length each, and I'm confident you'll find a geometry to add to your cover as well, at least one. The waist widths are rather on the wide side. This enables you to lay out big carves without any toe drag. Plus, think about the additional flotation you will have in powder. For powder, these boards have a lot of what we call active surface area. Way more than you think when you read the length only. For example, the data is only 145 centimeters long, but when you look at tip and tail and project the traditional nose shape onto this geometry, you realize that it will float like a 165 centimeter long board. Ah, by the way, you will find both the underfoot width and the active surface area in the spec table on our website. All boards feature a so-called thick cut core profile, while conventional shapes with more length per model are thicker between the bindings and thinner in tip and tail, we have slightly milled down the core thickness in the board center and extended the thickness towards tip and tail. It will add riding stability along the longitudinal axis of the board and you will be less likely to flip over in power or you like do butt landings because you're lacking tail, right? This also caters to a wider range of rider weights. It'll work with or without a heavy backpack and you will eliminate the feeling of having the wrong board today. It'll always be the right board. In order to eliminate swing weight in the tips, we have spaced out the wood and replaced it with a Superlight Hexa 2 honeycomb material. This reduces tip chatter and the entire board feels lighter and a lot more nimble. We have added a tip to tail carbon ID pop band to amplify pop power. Our flotation tips show a large elliptical scoop line for maximum flotation. These noses simply always want to stay on the surface. Impact plates made of pre-cured hard glass in the binding area avoid those stings and dents from the bindings which you really don't want. The base material we are using is a super fast sintered isosport base. By the way, we have banned UV gloss coating from our entire board range for this season simply because solvent is not good for the environment and the workers, so silk mat is the new deluxe finish. The spray tray comes in 147. Together with the kill switch, this is perhaps the most all-mountain board within the Future Shape family. It's got a smooth long nose and a nice swallow tail for flotation in powder and we integrated a cranky side cut for carving and groomers with enough tail kick to ride switch. It's designed rather for the smaller, lighter rider. It's short and nimble, fat and floaty. Tip and tail have a very blunt geometry. The board is actually longer than it looks. This is for the backcountry freestyler who loves slashing wind lips and landing switch in wasty powder. Bialoa Vibes. This 154 centimeter long beast is designed to surf in powder and if anybody wants to follow you in tree runs, it's simply not possible. It floats incredibly well due to the waist width of like 28 centimeters and the swallowtail is very easy to punch into the snow and make like super tight pivoting turns or speed checks. So if you're riding tree runs, this is the board. The 
kill switch comes in 158 length and it's for sure that model which covers the largest type of riding style, terrain and snow conditions. It carves really nice, like early morning corduroy, perfect. It floats easily in waist deep pow and the tail kick can handle switch riding very well and it's pretty much within that future shape family, it's best Swiss army knife in that product range. The Morning Glory is back, and back by popular demand. We discontinued the first Morning Glory seven seasons ago, but we got so many requests to reproduce it again. So we needed to react on this demand, obviously, and launched a completely redesigned, super modern version. The main characteristics from this geometry were, and are, a long nose and lots of taper for the deepest days out there. It's pretty easy to understand what the board is designed for when you have a look at it. The Snowman A comes in 166 length, a vintage deep swallowtail combined with a long modern future shape typical nose pretty much says it right away, right? This is for the deepest day of the season. Wide open faces, enough space to haul ass and drop cliffs. This is what the Snowman A is made for. 